Hey guys, Terry from Exo Truck. Yeah, I normally build you know, performance Subaru go karts and stuff, but I'm switching it up this fall because, well, I want to build a drone, but not just any drone, like a Cinelifter type drone, but for bait casting shark bait. Uh, I don't know, my brother got me rolling down this down this wormhole and uh, I'll show you my updates because there's not a lot of information on this for for a bunch of guys building these things probably because of how dangerous they are and you shouldn't use cheap parts or something that can cut your head off but I've never built a drone I'm uh, probably gonna crash it probably gonna sink it in the ocean so I don't want to spend a lot of money doing this uh, today's video is basically on the flight controller I got. It's there's the only reason I'm making this video is because there's no other videos out there on this flight controller. So here we go. My arm's getting tired, so I'm gonna turn the camera on and show you guys this controller. So the one I went with was on trusty old AliExpress. I've actually never ordered anything from AliExpress before either. Uh, but I've been seeing a lot of build videos where guys are buying all their parts off AliExpress. And I don't know, I figured give it a go. So I got this, I think they mark it as a JIG FPV stack. Uh, it's, there's a few different options, but I ended up getting the 120 amp one. Because even though I'm running 12S, I figured more amps, more headroom. Uh, with the extra volts, it should actually draw less amps to the motors. At least, you know, wattage is wattage, so more volts, less amps. It took about three weeks to get in, and I got it in. It came in this little box. Well, the flight controller did, but the ESC, the 4 in 1 ESC, actually came in this little foil packet. And I don't know, you're not supposed to touch these things, I guess. But like I said, I, I don't care. Uh, it looks to be. I don't know, of NESC, it's pretty thick, it's got some like gold stuff on it, that's all I know about it, it's got a 30 by 30 volt pattern, it did come, which was I thought were going to be 35 volt capacitors, they're actually 63 volts, so they are sufficient for 12S, although I kind of expected 35 volts, so I went and ordered some large 100 volt capacitors that I'll probably use instead to uh, put in, you know, when you solder on the power leads. I'm not gonna get into any of that. There's way better videos out there on that kind of stuff. I'm just, this is about this unfamiliar flight controller stack. It's like, I guess you'd call it a 12S stack, 120 amp stack. It is uh, an H743 board. Came with some screws, little isolator grommets. Like I said, the capacitors, uh, some pigtails and connectors, wire connectors for, I guess, your, you know, your receivers and your VTXs and stuff like that. We'll see if any of that comes in handy. I did plug this one in already. Uh, this is for four more motors. I guess this thing will support up to eight motors. It's got a lot of stuff on it, actually. And... But like I said, you can go to that one. I'll put a link in it. And it, there's pictures of everything that, you know, all the specs and stuff. But, uh, and it has a USB-C. So I got it, not knowing anything about these things. I immediately just plugged it into my computer. It just went blank. Plugged it into the computer. And I'll just plug this in here. It, let's go down to beta. It immediately picked it up. I mean, I haven't done anything. So it immediately picked it up. The flight controller is is functioning. Uh, it doesn't seem to be glitching at all. There's, I don't know, some stuff. <laughs> but, and then it also pulls up the the board information, it's the DAC FPV H743 STM32. 
Uh, it's already loaded with 4.5, so I guess it's not that old of a board. I tried connecting it to the ESC already to see if anything else would change, and I didn't notice anything. I guess I gotta get a couple batteries yet. Uh, solder leads. I didn't get, I'm gonna get those 150 amp connectors, those bullet connectors with the spark anti sparks, uh, because it did come with a 12 gauge what looks like an XT60 connector but that's that's not going to cut it I am running 4320 motors 12 S motors 3 350 kVs those are ordered they are not here yet uh, my pro pillars came in frames here this is a ZD680 and I mean it's gonna, so far I think I spent 110 ish on this frame it was the last one so good luck guys i think the blades two pairs were like eight dollars each <laughs> and then this flight controller as you can see was about seventy dollars and it took about three weeks to get here so that's all i could tell you so far i mean i plugged it in it actually works and then the esc i can't make any guarantees yet until i get a power supply on it and some motors hooked up but I mean it's a heavy little board it's thick I mean it should work right <laughs> you guys can follow along if you want I'm uh, it's gonna be a little slow I'm going on a trip so I'm gonna be out for the next few weeks if so it just won't pick up again until late October so hope that helps anyone that's looking at these uh, these AliExpress cheap stacks, these Jai G FPVs, they're, as soon as you type in 12S stack on AliExpress, these are the ones that pop up. So, I don't know. Hope this helps someone. It does plug in, it does load, it does work. So, I just don't know if it flies yet. Good night.